Good morning, everybody. Um, I just came on this video because, you know, I like to share my walk with God with you all. And as I get new revelations and get new truths from God himself to pause into my spirit, I like to come on here and talk about it um, because I know some of my fellow brothers and sisters in Christ might be dealing with these things or that they're looking for more ways of getting new wisdom or just if you're not even Christian, you know, kind of get an inside look of the blessings and wonder and goodness of being in a relationship with God is. So as some of you know, or some may not know, I'm charting new ventures in my life as far as businesses and my career and things like that. And I've been in a season where I've been stepping to new territory that I've never really touched before. Um, but just like with other things, um, this has caused a lot of unsettling in my mind because if you know me, you know that I cannot make a decision or traditionally cannot make a decision um, because I'm always trying to analyze every single thing. And this does not host peace. So, and I've talked in previous videos about dealing with anxiety, but this morning, well, early, early morning, basically I was sleeping and I never really have a good night of sleep, but God woke me up three o'clock a.m. It's always three o'clock a.m. 315, 313, 303, 08. It's like God says, all right. And I've got gotten to the point where I'm like, okay, God, well, I see what you're saying. Like, if I'm not gonna be able to go to sleep, I'm I'll just wake up, put on some praise and just lift my hands up and praise you and spend my quiet time with you, especially before I start my day. So I am in my bed, my bonnet and all, everything, satin, pillow, satin, bonnet and all of it. And um, I'm just sitting there praying. I'm praising God and God just ministers to my spirit. Um, I have forgiven you. And during all of this, <clears throat> excuse me, he leads me to an article about getting out of guilt and accepting the full forgiveness of God. But he's basically telling me the reason why you are so afraid or you're so always on 10 um, and you're so nervous about taking the next step and always be like, am I doing the right thing? Am I making the right choice? Am I doing this? Am I doing right? Is because you are holding guilt and that you do not fully live in the forgiveness that I have already, I'm, I've already forgiven you. You are made pure. Your debt is paid for by Jesus Christ. You are trying to make the right decision because you don't want to displease me. And you don't want to endure punishment or consequences. And he said, that is not me. That is not the truth. You're trying to pay for a debt that's already paid for. Jesus Christ already did the assignment. And you were on his team. And you got credit for it as well. <laughs> Basically, even though you didn't do it, but you're covered. Why are you trying to go and do that assignment? And you're not able to complete it. And he begins to talk to me a little bit more and... It was really cool because God speaks to me through visions a lot of times as well. And he speaks to me in ways where it might not sound senseful to other people, but to me, he knows my heart and my spirit, my mind. He can rate me to where I understand it completely. Um, but I'll give you the example of what the vision consisted of. So it was, we we're role playing basically, God and I. And we, in the, in the time period, was after the fall of Adam and Eve and pre-Jesus Christ. Um, and we knew that beginning of time that God decided, that God knew that he's going to have to send Jesus Christ to the earth to die for our sins. But in this role play, God did not come to a decision yet. But it was post-fall and pre-Jesus. And God and I were talking. And I would, you know, it was pre-Jesus. So I'm, I'm a fallen man living in a fallen world. 
But I simply, I simply look to God, look up to God like how a parent looks down at their toddler. And I asked him as his toddler, I said, God, can you send your son, Jesus Christ, to die on the cross for my sins? Because that was the solution I had in my mind. And he goes, okay. Just like that. Okay. Like a, there's no problem with it. There's no problem with it. And that spoke so much to me because there was no hesitation. <laughs> there was no looking at me and evaluating me if I'm worth it. Like, uh, can I try? Mm, I mean, uh, it was none like that. It was more like, okay. And he said, and through that, he was telling me like, he is crazy about me. And I'm telling you the same thing. You fellow believer, you fellow, not even non-believer, he is crazy about you. And I know a lot of times we feel that we're so distant from God and we, a lot of times, feel like we're not worthy of his forgiveness or something. Or we always have to stay up right in front of his eyes that we want to make God proud and we want to put a smile on his face. We want to get down to the end of the day and say, I'm so proud of you, my good and faithful servant. But the thing is, God does a lot of the work too. <laughs> God already sets good works for you before you even think about it. God knows all your sins before you commit them. God has counted every single sin before you even touch this earth of what you do. But he forgave all of them already. And it's not the before glory of you, it's for glory of him. And that brings up to another point of me realize, realizing why I do those things of why, why I'm always trying to stay upright. Like, it's kind of like, am I keep checking myself with God? Like, am I, Lord, am I right in your eyes? Am I right in your eyes? And it's because I am trying to obtain glory for myself that I cannot attain, obtain for myself. The only glory that I can obtain is through Jesus Christ. We share our glory through Jesus Christ. All the glory that we will ever receive is because of what Jesus Christ did. We do not complete good wills in our own works. It's because of Jesus and how good he is that we are able to do good works. Me doing good deeds should be a direct reflection of Jesus Christ in me. It should not be a, hey, hey, I'm a good person. Because you can be a good person all day. All day. What does that mean? Nothing if you don't have love. And... You doing good deeds is not getting you into heaven. Jesus is the ticket. So I just want to come on here and say, talk about that, about how God has forgiven you. Forgiven your debts, forgiven all the little things. Like there was like a little things that were kind of eating on my mind. Like you did that or you have this pattern or you're lazy here or you can do better here and God calls you in the Bible to be a good steward of this or God calls you to be a harder worker or God calls you to do this this you need to be you need to earn your stuff or um oh there you go with that sin again or there you go with that thought again you are your Christian you should you're to, to stay away from these things but then understand God does not hold you God understands that we are in a broken world that's why Jesus Christ is our advocate because Jesus Christ was not able to be our advocate until he came down from heaven and was able to live a life in the flesh and now he understands what it's like to live as a human being and so he's able to advocate for us and it says that in the bible that's why we're not to be shameful and cowardly going up to the throne we're to go up there with boldness because jesus understands and he's there advocating for you every day the holy spirit god the father god loves you he leads with love and he just wants you to spend time with him get to know him and understand how good he is and nice he is nice like think about it. nice yeah y'all need to understand that god is nice he's not mean he's not you do this you're wrong you're wrong well you think you're not you, no no there's always discipline but god does it in a way where he gives you grace and gives you love to do it so it's not in the way of a military sergeant and you'll get punished if not like he wants to come and have a relationship with you you are his child. He, if you didn't have a great representation of who parents should be or a mother or father child relationship, he wants to show you that you are able to have a relationship like that with him.
a nice one, 11 one, you know? So I just wanna say that, um, like, like I said before, when I get revelations, I like to come on here and talk about it. Um, Cause you know, uh, one, I don't wanna forget, and that's why I write it down as well. But um, yeah, uh, I love you all. You guys have a good day and God bless. I'll talk to y'all soon. All right.